Genetic power has now been unleashed. We made a terrible mistake. The doomsday clock might be about out of time. Hola, Laura, ¿cómo estás? How are you? Um, bien, it's so good to see you, Giovanni. No, it's so good to see you. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm such a fan. I love you. Uh, this is mind-blowing. Thank you so much for sharing the movie with us. Oh, how great. I mean, we were so lucky and, and blessed to, uh, to get to all be together and to be together again with uh, Jeff and Sam and play Ellie Sattler again and think about who she would be today. All of that was very magical. Speaking of that, let me ask you, what surprised you the most about coming back and doing a new movie with Jurassic, with Jurassic World this time? I think, you know, for me individually, how protective fans are in who Ellie Sattler would be today. Um, you know, that it mattered to everybody else as much as it mattered to me to see who she would be as a scientist, who she would be as a woman today, what her dynamic might be with Dr. Alan Grant. So that's been very exciting, that in all our collaboration to really consider who she is, that fans were with me in their protectiveness um, and, and hopefully will be very happy. If our world's gonna survive, what matters is what we do now. I could use your expertise. You coming or what? I remember that Jurassic Park was one of the first movies that is a long-term memory for me. I remember that we watched it with my mom and we came out of the movie theater and then we called my dad and we were like, you have to come to the theater and, and we watch it again. And I think that that was the first time that I watched a movie twice, like one after, right after another one. Oh, so, that's how, so great. Is there a movie that ever did that to you? Um, yes. Um, as a child, the first movie that I saw twice was The Wizard of Oz. I saw it in a theater, uh, amazing theater with my grandmother, and I was terrified and obsessed and had to see it again the next day, and my mom brought me. Um, I've never been so scared. as I, Even a raptor does not scare me as much as a flying monkey. I'm just gonna say it. That is terrifying until Jurassic World Dominion. Because there is something that flies and is small and is a dinosaur that I have to deal with that is grosser and scarier than a flying monkey. But um, I would say it's probably that movie. And that movie has influenced so many of the great filmmakers that I have worked with, namely David Lynch and Steven Spielberg. So um, I think that was a big part of opening me to the magic of cinema. Um, but also this movie, you know, I worked on it for months, but like you, I sat down in a theater, Steven was on my left, Jeff was on my right, the lights went down, we had popcorn, and I saw it all for the first time. There had never been CGI. So when they said to me, you'll look up in the tree, see that X on a piece of paper, just look there, and that's gonna be this long neck Brachiosaurus. We're gonna paint it in. I'm like, these people are crazy. <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna work. And, and magic happened for me too. So I'm as nostalgic about my memory of seeing this for the first time. Well, we're very lucky that you're back and I can't wait for everybody to watch the movie because it's fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. Gracias, adiós.